a white woman brings a black man home and introduces the black man to her family. The family says, oh shit, you brung a nigger home. The Jamaican girl brings a black dude home and introduces the black dude to her family. And you hear, oh, you bring a Yankee boy. Oh, you, you mess with a Yankee. Yard girl mess with Yankee, right? You have a Spanish girl, Dominican, whatever, whatever, bring a black dude home. You hear, oh, Moreno, oh, no, 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 she, 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 te amo Moreno, whatever, 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 how you put it. If a Chinese girl bring a black dude home, you hear, oh, you dating a monkey or whatever, whatever, right? If a black girl bring a white dude home, the black family might be like, oh, hey, you got yourself a white dude. Hey, what's going on, Bill? Pull up, like, eat. You know, you're a part of the family. Eat some food or whatever, whatever. You know, they might analyze his intentions, but more or less, they gonna welcome him. If a black girl brings a Jamaican home, The family, nine out of, say, nine out of ten, would be like, oh, you got yourself a roster. Oh, uh, you know, dread, pull up, or whatever, whatever. You know, where the ganja at? You know, they might joke, but they'll welcome them. If a, if, a, if, a, if, a, if a black girl bring a Dominican home, the black family, nine out of ten, would be like, oh, you got yourself a poppy. Poppy, what up, poppy? What are you pull up? Poppy, you hungry? Bro? They'll welcome them, right? Same thing with the Chinese and whoever else and whoever else and whoever else, right? I say that to say what? And I know people gonna be like, oh, Jamaicans is black too. I know, I know that. I'm talking about African, so-called, quote unquote, African Americans when I say black. The people who built this country for 500 years, right? But let me get to the point. I say that to say what? From my experience growing up, 90% of the black families I know growing up in the South Bronx, Harlem, shit like that, we don't instill hatred in our kids. We don't instill hatred in our women. Because hatred starts at home first. Before a, before a child is even introduced to the world, they go by what they learn in that house from the mother, from the father, from the parents, right? So. 90% of the black families I know, we don't instill hatred in our women and in our kids. Maybe we might tell them don't trust everybody, but we don't tell them hate this group of people, hate that group of people. We don't do sucker shit like that, right? We real welcoming. Hip hop shows you real, real we, hip hop shows you that we're well, that we are real welcoming. Sorry, that was a tongue, my tongue got tied. Rock and roll shows you that we're welcoming. Everything black people create or whatever we involved in, we always show you that we're welcoming because we always let everybody else in. When if the shoe was on the other foot, they wouldn't let us in, whatever may it be, you know what I'm saying? And then if they do let us in, it'll probably be somebody that that compromised, or they like on some Carl Bank shit or some Braxton P. Hartner bridge shit. You know what I'm saying? They'll let a few of like the flunkies, the docile ones in, or, and stuff like that, right? So, um, I say this to say what? Oh, also, another thing about that we let everybody in, this is how you get various races, colors, and creeds. That's one, this is one of the ways how you get various races, colors, and creeds because we didn't have no hatred. You know, we welcome whatever color, creed, nationality. If your heart is good, we'll fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? And um, I say that to say what? You know, they say the black woman, they say the black woman is the alpha woman 
she's the Eve. She has the genes to every other race, ethnicity, color, creed, or subculture, right? Which is true. So in order to exterminate a race of people, people might be like, oh, you gotta knock off the black men or knock off all the men. No, you conquer the women. This is why during slavery, they would kill the women. I mean, they would kill the men and breed all the women, right? They would breed a lot of the black women. Even though secretly when the slave masters would go out and rape the black women, the white woman would fuck with the um, black slaves. That's why you got stories like Mandingo and shit like that. But um, they would knock off the black men and breed the black women, rape them, impregnate them. So the majority of people in America that's white, nine out of 10, they got a black grandmother or a black great great grandmother or some funny shit like that. A lot of white people got black grandmothers or they probably got an ancestor that's a slave member, that's a slave, an ex slave member or something. So now, my point is this. Imagine if black women wasn't raped and we didn't breed with Spaniards and, and, and Cherokee Indians and Blackfoot Indians and we didn't breed with other ethnicities. There wouldn't be no Dominicans. There wouldn't be a such thing as a, as a Borinqua. And I'm not saying the, the Taino Indians from the island of Borinquenian wouldn't exist. Yeah, they would exist, but it wouldn't be no Puerto Ricans, even though a Puerto Rican is the port of Rico. It's a, it's a place where you park your boat. But those, these, what I'm saying, these ethnicities and these subgroups, come on in, bless us. <laughs> these ethnicities and these subgroups wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the black woman being raped, being breeded, being, being in interracial relationships with other cultures. The purpose of me bringing this up is because in New York City, there's like a fear for black men in New York City. Like you can see it. Don't get it twisted. Like I always tell you, 20% of every race or ethnicity fuck with us, 20%. The other 80 don't, you know what I'm saying? The other 80 don't. So imagine if we raised our black women to act how these other women act when a black man look at them or holler at them. Because if you get, if you in the wrong place at the, at the right time, or if you in the right time, if you in the right place at the wrong time, whatever it may be, you will see like certain mommies, they'll clutch their pocketbook. Don't get it twisted. There's a lot of goofy, dirty, there's a lot of goofy, dirty, sucker black niggas out there that do do funny shit, rape, rob women and all that. So I understand, but you could decipher a clean, educated, militant black dude or a black dude that get money. You could pretty much tell. Not saying they're exempt from harming somebody either, but a lot of these women is raised to be racial in their household, they're raised. You better not fucking date this, this monkey or this type of person. So when they see us, there's always fear. There's always stay away from us. Imagine we raised our women like that because you see it all the time in the Arab stores. The Arab dudes in the hood is always trying to fuck the black chicks. You will never see a Yemenese chick or an Arab chick fucking a black dude. But these Yemenese niggas move in the hood or they open stores or these Arab stores, Palestinians, and they always want to fuck black women and breed with them, all Latino women. But you will never see a Yemenese woman or an Arab woman with a black dude or a Latino dude because they raise their women not to fuck with us. And if you do fuck with them, we're gonna disown you and cut you off from the family. And they paint pictures of us as like we are criminals, thieves, murderers, and no good, and like we're low level. So imagine, this is the question, because I want y'all to answer and give me feedback for this blog, and I'm gonna do a part two. Imagine if the black families raised a black woman and never like no other race, no other man, don't mess with nobody but black. What if we kept it nationalistic and tribal like that? Where would the world be? Will there, would there be other cultures or ethnicities like a Dominican or people who's mixed with black? Iron. 